In this tutorial, I'll take a shiny reflective material made using Blender's Material Properties window and see what happens when it's previewed in a web browser. I will also look at the Chrome material from the Blend for Web material library. I will also look at using the material library's glass material in my dining table scene. The starting point for this tutorial is the file metaltut10a.blend which I made in a previous tutorial. You can make the file yourself or download it from my website. Clicking the render button we get reflections and shadows. Change Blender Render to Blend for Web and click Fast Preview. We get no reflections and no shadows. For 3D on the internet, rendering has to be real time, which means there is only a fraction of a second to render the scene. So with Blend for Web, you have object level control over shadows and reflections that need a lot of processing. The sphere and the cube I'm going to set so that they both cast a shadow. From the position of the lamp, the monkey will both cast and receive a shadow. And the ground plane to receive only. I'm also going to click the material button and turn back face culling off for the ground plane so that it doesn't disappear when we look at it from underneath. To get reflections on the objects, we need to turn reflective and reflexible on. If the reflective type is plane, the manual says to add an empty object to mark its position. For speed, I'm going to set the type to cube and see what the result is like. I'm going to use the same settings for all three foreground objects and click Fast Preview. The web browser uses WebGL for hardware acceleration which makes real-time rendering possible. I think I can hear the fan speed of my medium-powered graphics card increasing as it processes all the reflections. Next I'm going to look at the Chrome material that comes with the Blend for Web material library. With the library you can add the whole material or just the material core. In this tutorial I'll be adding the whole material. The material library is a set of Blender files that can be found in the Blender slash material library folder in the SDK root folder. In the Blend for Web SDK folder, the Blender folder, material library, I'm going into the metal folder and double clicking the chrome.blend file. The material files contain two objects, a Blend for Web logo object and an example object that uses the material. Note that to get results as good as this, you need to use image maps that are specific to the object. And note that both objects are reflexible but not reflective. They will both make a reflection but not receive one. Click Fast Preview. The materials look fantastic. Notice that the floor receives shadows and reflections but although the objects look reflective, they do not receive reflections from each other or the floor. Going back to my original Blender file, how do I use the material library's Chrome material? Change Blender Render to Blend for Web and click Set Recommended Options. Click the Object Properties button and turn shadows on for the foreground objects. Set Cast Shadows. and set receive shadows for the ground plane. In the file menu, append, go to the Blend for Web SDK folder, the Blender folder, the material library, 
metal, click the chrome file, go into the material folder, select chrome and append. Select the foreground objects, click the material button, click the browse material button and select chrome. And click fast preview. The off-the-shelf material works well for the monkey. The sphere and the cube most probably need a bit more work. This is my dining table scene. For all the objects in the scene I have modelling tutorials. I have used the chrome material on the knives and forks and it works well. I am now going to try the glass material on the wine glasses. File, Append. Go to the Blend for Web SDK folder, Blender folder, Material Library, Glass. Click on the file to go into it. In the Material folder, select the Glass Material and Append. To apply the appended material to the wine glass, click the Browse Material button and select Glass. With my settings, that has the effect of making the glass invisible. You can select it in the outliner window and you can change the shading to solid if you wanted to move it. The problem doesn't happen in the material library file, but the objects are more complex and the material is tailored to them. Select the other wine glasses Click the Browse Material button and select Glass. What is important is what the material looks like in a web browser. Click Fast Preview. And I think that the Glass Library material works very well in the web browser. That's the end of the tutorial. I'll put the files used in the tutorial for you to download at my website. Click the link or the eye icon. If you'd like to subscribe, click the link or the stick man. If you'd like to sponsor my tutorials, click the link. Thanks for watching and goodbye.